in South Africa, it's probably the number is five times that. Um, how important is it to have these kind of courses that you want? Yeah, it's it's, it's very important, and uh, uh, rightfully so. Um, it means that is the reason that we are not uh, able to catch up quickly, because we are always behind, and and it's important that. Uh, uh, at the grassroots, we have coaches that are qualified so that we are able to produce players from that young age with the right uh, technical knowledge and, uh, and the understanding of what it takes to compete at a higher level. And once we are able to do that from that young age, it means then we'll be able to produce players that uh, will progress to your maybe academy elite stages, to PSL, um, junior national teams, even Bafana Bafana. Um, and being able to help and, and, and compete at that level. And I think it's really, really important. And uh, uh, for me, I'm very really grateful that uh, um, uh, this course is happening. Now we're talking about this course, which is CAFA, but I think there were a lot of courses that uh, took place in the last uh, few months or few years, which are uh, KF D, KF C licenses. Uh, I think it's really important that we, we arm coaches at grassroots level so that we are able to produce players that will be able to compete at a higher level and, 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 and do well for us in the senior national team. You've been coaching or you can do. You've been coaching for quite a while. Um, you know, does, yeah. does this this course help you reflect and say, Yeah, I could have done things better here and there? Uh, you know, what is the learnings like having played at the highest level and also coaching prior to this? Yeah, absolutely, because um, I've done my KFB license twenty twelve. I think that's more than ten years, you know. Uh, and, and obviously you, 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 you learn from the experience of coaching, but also with the evolution in football, you cannot spend so much time you know, not having um, to go to the next course in terms of you know, uh, with the evolution in football, in terms of the theory and all uh, the, the needs you know, to, to equip and arm yourself as a coach. You know, because uh, information is there as, as, as accessible to the players. So it means also as a, as a coach, you got to be at a level where you are able to coach players that have a good understanding of football. And it cannot be that as a coach, you can't do that because you are behind. So it's really important that this course uh, will obviously bring us to a level where we are able to produce better players. But Father, you have guys like here, yeah, like Bakuti, um, Obi, yeah. uh, Steve, Gavin, highly experienced guys. And what is the significance of sitting in a room with this type of guys and, and then uh, you just soak up the information? Yeah, I can tell you, you know, th this, is, this is a big cause for us. It's actually massive because, you know, the, the expectation was that it's going to be just a normal course, that it's going to be maybe learning in a class and, and maybe everyone do your own practical. But with this course, it's very interactive. And, and we are learning from these experienced coaches. They are, they are sharing the experience that they've gained over the years. And for us, I think uh, uh, it's a big plus for us to have these type of coaches in this course because I can tell you now, in the, in the practicals that, uh, I mean, the last two days we've been doing the practicals, you know, they're also maybe um, enhancing the level of the course because it's not only relying on, on well, yeah, knowledgeable instructors like uh, Steve and uh, uh, Coach Conti, but also they are able to put their weight and give us all the, the, the knowledge acquired for, for the last decades of their coaching experience, and they are able to share that with us. So for us, this is a, 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 a big moment. Mm -hmm. Coach, we obviously see that you're not here alone. You're here with Coach Michael. Just the other day, mm -hmm. um, Coach Michael Loftman from the first team announced that he would be doing his pro license. So it seems like there at Sunnons, you guys are constantly empowering yourselves, learning. How important is it to keep up with the trends of the game and also to equip yourself with the necessary knowledge? Yeah, they, they always say maybe success breeds su uh, more success. And with the success that we have in the, in the, in the first team, Obviously, we 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 under pressure, which is good pressure. Obviously, to to do even better, obviously from the academy level, so that we are able to to keep feeding the first team with better players. You know, because we'll be expected to bring more better players. You know, uh, if you see there's more players that are going to be aging, so there's going to be pressure on the academy to bring more players into the first team. That will obviously maintain the level and standard. You know. Uh, like now we're talking about Kesha Smailula for an example uh, but we need more of those and, and we are not able to do that if you don't equip the coaches uh, to be able to produce those type of players so that there's continuity in that uh, success 
uh, in the first team. Just You've on been... that, um, Coach Rulani says that his, his training sessions at Lurkop are, mm. are open to everyone. Yeah. Um, is, is that something also that perhaps for you guys as coaches to feel as close as possible to the first team, like you're saying, you're feeding, yeah. so it would be good to know what you'll be feeding into? It, it's, it's, it's absolutely very important because we need to understand, um, um, you know, with the evolution in football, you know, the last, let's say, six months, from six months back to now, there's a lot of changes in the team. So, but you, you got to be there so that you can witness those changes and you know exactly what is the demand for you as an academy coach in a certain position that maybe could be a demand to the first team. But if you're not closer to the first team, you would not know and you'd not be able to produce the type of a player that is needed, you know, uh, to the first team. So that's very, very important. You've been cooking the youngsters for a number of years now. In terms yeah. of ambitions, you know, where would you like to see yourself in the next yeah, few years? Yeah, yeah, true. I mean, I've been developing a lot of lot of good players and, and, and I'm glad that with the support of the team, a lot of them uh, for the last 10 years, they are playing the PSL, NFD, you know. But obviously the first thing that for me I focus on is to do the best that I can wherever I'm placed, you know. Because you gotta be driven by passion to do what you love, you know. Then the next step is to obviously, if you don't have an ambition to grow and coach at the highest level, you know, then then I feel that you'll be in the wrong space. So I'm also have the ambition to say I wanna see myself coaching at the highest level, which is PSL and beyond, you know. But also junior national teams and all that. So I'm really, really I do really have the ambition, but I wanna do the best as possibly I can wherever I'm placed. As in now, where I am with the Academy Elite at Sundowns, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be there and do my best. But yeah, I'm ambitious to, to progress and, and maybe coach at a higher level. This, this uh, license obviously allows you to sit on the bench of any first team across the continent. Is there ambitions for you to go outside South Africa? And... Yeah, absolutely. The sky is the limit. You know, you cannot li limit yourself. You know, whatever that uh, um, the future can bring, I'm ready. And coach? Just watching your boys play, they play more or less the same brand of football, like the first team. How does that happen? Is it part of club policy or it's something that you've picked? No, it's, it's a club policy. Remember, we're developing these boys from the young age uh, with the same club playing philosophy. But uh, the bigger picture is not maybe for us, but it's to, it's to help these players so that they, they are able to play as the first team at the highest level. So for us, our job over and above playing well and winning is to produce a product that will be able to you know, hold their own when they get to the first team um, uh, space, meaning the, your, your tactical approach, how you play, the movements and all that. The player must be familiar with all that. Maybe the difference will be the intensity and otherwise, but otherwise in terms of the approach, the playing style, the movement and all that, we got to do it from the young age so that we are able to, to, to support and, and, and produce that product to the first team. So, so the target is never really to get on to the next division, for example, gain promotion? Is that... I would not say that because, remember, winning mentality needs to be instilled in the players, you know. But if you say that, then you, you actually mean that the players must not play to win. And, and obviously winning mentality is one of the most important, uh, uh, especially for a club like Sundowns, you know, with the, this, a lot of success in the last years, you know. So you got you to gotta instill that, that, that winning mentality to the players. I will not give you a yes or a no of an answer, but yeah, winning is important. How rewarding is it to, to see the guys like, you know, Sia Mabena, Keshes Mailula go on to do big things in their careers having worked with them at, at youth level as well? No, it's, it's, it's pleasing. It's pleasing, my brother, because it's actually a verification of the work that we do, you know, to say, but it's also motivating to say you are on the right track and you are doing the right things, you know, and, and, and also we, we got to give thanks also to the coach Ulan and the senior team, technical team, you know, to say we'll give you support. If there's a player that we think is ready, we'll bring the player, you know, to say to coaches at the academy, we can see your work, we can recognize your work. So it's, it's really motivating to all of us at the academy.